Lord, for everyone being here. We thank you, praise the Lord, for Beverly Bryant Sutton being in our midst this morning. She's a guest of Evangelist Barbara. Amen. We thank God for them being here and for her being here. Ber uh, Beverly Bryant Sutton. And thank the Lord for Ann Poo being here. God bless her to see another birthday. We thank God for her. Amen. Amen. The first lady wants to thank everyone that came out and supported the women's club. Amen. And this way, you know, too many was a blessing. First lady Tatum. It was a blessing. There will be no evening service on tonight. Tuesday, July the 30th, the pastor's aid will have a meeting at 5.30. Also, the usher board will be having a, a meeting after the service on that night, on Tuesday, July the 30th. Saturday, August the 3rd, the Brotherhood will be selling fish sandwiches and a soft drink for $8 here at the church. Tuesday, August the 6th, your money will be due for your Sunday school books. The paperback books are $9.99, they are quarterly. The hardback books are $25, they are for a whole year. Uh, you need to let Evangelist Birch know if you desire to get one. So you have to go to her because once the order is put in, she can't go back and or place orders for more books. Saturday, August the 24th, the Sunday School and Ministers Guild will be having a back sale, amen, here at the church from 9 to 12.30. Monday, September the 16th is the last day to buy your tickets for the banquet. See Evangelist Birch if you desire to buy one. On Saturday, October the 12th, we'll be having a banquet at Venue 68. It's right here on Main Street, amen. For the pastor and first lady, 16th pastoral anniversary. The uh, Swans Landing will be catering this meal for us. The price of the tickets and the menus on the board out there. Okay, you need to be there at 2.30 to be seated. Because dinner is served from 3 to 4.30. The service will start at 5 o'clock. Bishop Robert Manley Jr., he will be the speaker, amen, for that service from Frankfort, Kentucky. No blue jeans are allowed. It's semi-formal. And the colors are purple and white, but you do not have to wear those colors. That's just the color scheme. So just remember each and every one of these announcements and govern yourself accordingly. We ask everyone to stand and bring forth Pastor Prophet Michael Jerome Johnson Sr. with a hearty praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Prophet Lord. John. You all may be seated. Before you do, reach over and shake somebody's hand. Tell them it's good to see you this morning. Come on, shake somebody's hand. Tell them it's good to see you. 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 Mm -hmm. I need to make a correction. The usher board will meet Tuesday, the 23rd, July the 23rd, after the service. God bless you. We want to uh, keep the van clean finally. In your prayers, uh, Sister Annette and also her son Jermaine, and uh, we want to keep that family in prayer. And then I was also told that uh, Brother Ted lost his uncle, Smokey Pass. And so we want to keep the Bell family uh, in prayer. It's not easy to lose love, loved ones. And so keep them in your prayers. I've been knowing these, well, the Van Cleef is my family. But I've been knowing the Bale family uh, for, well, just all my life. Uh, since we were kids, we've been knowing this. Miss Leah and them, who don't know them? It's a slew of them, you got to know them. But keep them in, in prayer because it's not easy to lose somebody you love. Age ain't got nothing to do with you when you're hurting. You're hurting, you're hurting. So we are there. We thank God for all our visitors. We got the berries and their guests in our house today. We welcome y'all in the name of Jesus. Uh, it's good to see Ann Blue. 
I ain't seen her for years. God bless you, baby. God bless you, girl. Yeah, that's a Cleveland Port original right there. <laughs> we honor the, the woman of God. What's her name? The woman of God's name. What's her name? What's her name? In the, introduce yourself, sweetheart. Tell her, please. Minister Sutton. Oh, all right, okay, all right. Praise the Lord. You said you from Bowling Green? What church you out of down there? Miracle Life. Miracle Life. Chad Collins. Chad Collins. Okay, all right. We honor you, woman of God. We honor everyone that's here today. God bless you. Now, uh, there's no evening service. <laughs> We've been in revival all, um, well, almost all week except for Wednesday. And so we're going to take us a little rest. Jesus rested. And we got to rest too. We're not robots. No. And, uh, but we thank God for you today. Thank God for you. Did you enjoy the women's conference of yesterday? I know I did. She does a wonderful job. So we thank God for her. Not going to hold you long, but want to obey God. In the book of Psalms, the 119th division, and then I'll go to Psalm 137. Psalm 119. I'm going to give you what I feel God has laid on my heart to give unto us this morning. Psalms 119 and verse number 133. He brought this to me again. And it says, order my steps in thy word and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Psalms 37. And I want to read verse number 23 and 24. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall. He shall not be utterly cast down. For the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. Can we say amen? Amen. Maybe see. It's good to see Sister Shirley back with us today. God bless you, Sister Shirley. She wasn't here last week. And we want you to know we miss you. That is a 93-year-old woman of God. And we thank God for that woman. Thank God for it. I feel the Holy Ghost in here this morning. Amen. And now uh, we want to take our time and let God have his way. I want to use a thought this morning. Tell somebody, where he leads me, I will follow. Where he leads me, I will follow. And tell somebody, don't let go of your faith. Precious people of God, in the book of Psalms, this great prophet, Psalmist, by the name of King David, was anointed by God through the prophet Samuel. Saul had got out of the will of God. God tells the prophet Samuel, go down to Jesse, the Bethlehemite. Because I have provided me a son, a king, among his sons. The Bible said that Shemaiah, Eli, all walked before Samuel. But the Lord said, they are not the one. Jesse had eight sons in that house. Seven sons in that house. All the seven sons of Jesse walked before Samuel. God tells Samuel, look not on his countenance or the height 
of his statue. For man see it on the outside, but God looks at the heart. Simon said unto Jesse, Is this all your children? Jesse said, There is the youngest one, but he is in the field keeping sheep. Jesse said, Samuel said to Jesse, We will not sit down until you call him in. They called David in. The Bible said he was rooted, but of a brutal countenance. And the Bible said that the Lord said, Not him. This is the man. God anointed him at the age of 14 to 17 years old. He's in now as the king but yet not positioning as the king. And the Bible said that an evil spirit from the Lord has troubled Saul. Uh, the Bible said that while they was at dinner, Saul was sitting at the table and he asked Jonathan, where is David? Uh, he said he had asked me to go back to Bethlehem to see his family. Uh, but Saul was wrong and angry because he wanted to kill David. Uh, and the Bible said that he picked up a javelin uh, and threw it at his son, uh, trying to kill David. Uh, how many knows uh, that the flesh uh, is trying to kill uh, the anointing? Uh, so David now uh, is, is on the run. Uh, but before he gets on the run, uh, Saul uh, orchestrated a plan. Uh, he said, My daughter, uh, by the name of Michael, uh, she loves David. Uh, and I'm going to get her to marry David. Uh, why? Uh, if I can get him to marry my daughter, uh, I can get close to him uh, and kill him. Uh, so he marries Michael, uh, Saul's daughter. Uh, but Saul uh, got David uh, on the run uh, while he's in the cave uh, called Adulam. Uh, the Bible says that Saul uh, comes into this cage. Uh, while he's in this cage, uh, David and his armor uh, is in that cage. Uh, but, they, but Saul does not know that. Uh, so David goes over uh, and cuts a part uh, of his skirt, uh, of his robe off. Uh, and he wakes up Saul uh, and says, Saul, uh, you see, uh, I could have killed you. Uh, but the Bible says, uh, Touch not my anointed uh, and do my prophets uh, no harm. Uh, so David uh, did not kill Saul. Uh, but David now uh, is on the run. Uh, how many knows uh, that when you can't get to church, uh, it plays an effect on you? Uh, David is running uh, for his life. Uh, and he needs God's help. Uh, and he needs God's direction. Uh, many times uh, when we come to the Lord, Sir! 
deliver. It ain't all. But then God allowed him to get in Potiphar's house. And God was blessing Potiphar's house. But Potiphar's wife looked upon that young man. Because he was a handsome young man. He was a tall young man. And Potiphar's wife looked upon that man and told that young boy, why don't you lie with me? He said, I will not sleep with you. So she got together and covered up a lie. She told her husband that Joseph tried to rape her. And they threw him in prison for 13 years. What am I saying? All of my steps in your word, Lord. Sometimes God will lead you into places you don't want to go. And God will take you. In some places you don't want to go. Why? He knows what's best for you. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver them out of all. Wherever He leads me, I'm going to follow Him. If He leads me in the dungeon, I'm born in the dungeon. If He leads me on the mountain, I'm born in the mountain. If He leads me in the valley, He is the living Soon as God brings you to a test, and soon God brings you to a trial, you back up on God. You can't back up on Him. And if He's your God in the good time, He's your God in the bad time. Wherever God leads me, I'm going to follow Him. I'm going to follow Him. God wants to lead you, and God wants to guide you. And what we need to understand, there's nothing about you that you can tell God about you. He knows everything about you more than you do. Just follow him. If he tells you to go right, you go right. If he tells you to go left, you go left. I don't know why we're going this way. You don't have to know. It's only this God knows. Many times in my walk with God, I asked the Lord, what are you doing? Because I couldn't see it. Because I couldn't understand with my little puny mind. How many know his thoughts is not our thoughts? And his ways is not our ways. We got to line up with him. He don't line up with us. This is his truth. This is his way. This is his life. Not your In the book of Joshua, when there was great cross over Jordan, Joshua said to the saints of God, space yourself 3,000 cubits. Why? You've never been this way before. See, when you're walking in the way of holiness, God's got to lead you. God's got to direct you. Why? You don't know the way. Why? There's some snares out there. There's some traps out there. There's some booby traps out there. You can't put your foot everywhere. Uh-uh. That's why he tells us, Put on the whole armor of God. Why do I need a whole armor? The hell of salvation is to bring down those thoughts in your mind and try to lead you because your mind tells your body what to do. When your mind tells your body to go, that's where the body goes. Then he said, heaven on, the breastplate of righteousness. Why do I need the breastplate of righteousness? To guard your heart. How many of you can't let everybody in your heart? And you can't give your heart to everybody in your heart. 
You got to know who you're giving your heart to. Because everybody don't give out your heart. No, they don't. Then you got to have the law and girdle back with you. What is the law? It's a belt to keep everything in place. Like a girdle so it won't move. And then he said, have your feet sharp with the preparation of God. What? Uh-oh. Don't, don't, don't put your feet like that. Put it on you. Why? There's some minds out there. Satan got some minds out there. You can't sense it. How many of you can't go everywhere? No, you can't. Why? Boom the trap. Oh, I'm on the trap. You can't move. You can't move now. Oh, you want to get unstopped. That's God. Then he said, lift your feet up, son. Woo! All right, all right. That's why you can't go everywhere. You got to let God lead you. Don't think you're stronger than what you are. You're strong in the Holy Ghost. Not within yourself. Not within yourself when you're strong. There's no strength in the flesh. There's no strength in the flesh. And you have the sword in one hand and the shield of faith in the other hand wow, to fight the enemy with. Let God lead you. If they don't like it, don't you worry about it. You Listen to me. You can't sweeten the ocean. You can't sweeten the ocean. What does that mean? You can't please everybody. You cannot please everybody. Father, Lord, stop trying to please people. Please God. He said if a man will please the Lord, he made his enemies to be a peace to him. Let God lead you. When you're walking with God, I'm going to take a shortcut. Wait a minute. Ain't no shortcuts with God. There's no back alleys with God. There's no side roads with God. He said straight is the gate that leads to eternal life. Straight. Ain't no curve. Ain't no turn off. You got to stay on that straight and never roll. Somebody say, let's take a let's go down the alley. You stay out of that alley. Y'all know what God was going on in the alley. What was they doing in the alley when we was like that? Did he stop? Stay out of that alley. Huh. Let's, let's meet when all the lights go out. Uh-huh. If we can't meet when they're on, we ain't meet when they're on. Come on. God got us still. God got us still. Be careful. Thank God got your step. Well, I'm telling you, he would not lead you in places you have no business being. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I often say, kid up. Alcohol would be a bartender. No, he can't. Let me get the test it out. You know how to do that? They stick your face in the That's how he do it. And then he's hooked again. Why? He's at the wrong place at the wrong time. Strength is never defined by you going. Strength is defined by you not going. You want to show how strong you are? Stay away from it. How many remember Superman? What made Superman weak? Kryptonite. What's your kryptonite? What's your kryptonite? Because this is what you want to deal with. Why would you go around kryptonite when kryptonite strips you of all your strength? That ain't God. That's you. Y'all understand? When I, when I first got saved, but you're too much like I got saved, and it's amazing. I never got none of it before I got saved. Sorry, either way. How is it that me and another brother, we're going to find crack cocaine just laying on the ground? How you going to find it? You didn't find it for me before I got saved. You don't know who said that, that don't you? You say who said that, that? A bag of cocaine. I said, kid, what is it, man? He was with a kid, first kid. I had a bag. I said, let me see that, kid. Okay, please let me see that. Hey, that was a crack. Then you don't say what I'm Where was it at free when I was at that? That one gone. See, you got to have all your steps. See, Satan, every day you get up, Satan got the trap set. And if you got the spirit of discernment, God leads you. When you hear a voice say, 
Don't go this way. Oh, uh, ask the quickly for you to work. The day is for you to work today. Don't do it. Why? Wow, God's telling you. Then you get out of your hand and go so and so step in the corner. Amen. You mean that? But see, you would have you seen that if you would have done it. It's called a boiling contest. Everything that comes our way is always the devil. Some of it's us. What I mean by us? Put myself in that position. Satan can resent it, but he can't make you do it. But if God leads you, he's going to lead you opposite of the way that the devil wants you to go. Follow God. I'm telling you something else, too. Don't let nobody get in your car. They try to take you the opposite way. Isn't it your car? Open up the door. I, I sit down in the corner in a minute. Rain, sleet, snow. If you think you're going to lead me somewhere that I don't go, get them out. And, and, and my fact, it'll be your last ride until you get, get right. I won't let uh, my brother, he's dead and gone, and I love him, came to my house. He knows that I've been off the liquor for 40 some years. Drugs, he knows all that. Joey knocked on the door. And I opened up the door, and he stands. The can in his hands. I just looked at him. Where, where are you going? Oh, okay, Joe. He parked it outside the door. Why am I going to let this something I ain't even going to do? Why would I do it? My father ran the food bag in the house. I had to get, just got saved. He got the Holy Ghost. Joe, you go down and give me a clip of whiskey. That's what he I told my own father, wait a minute. I love you, Dad. But I'm not going to get you and nobody else going to put the rest of the What does you mean this is dead? I know who you are. I know who you are. But I have to make a stand. And the stand you got to make a stand with is with your family. They are your worst enemy. You love them, but they are your worst enemy. Criticize you anytime. But let me tell you, you think you're holding that. I ain't think I'm holding nobody. They're your worst enemy. It's your family. I remember when you used to. I remember what I used to do. So what's your part? What's your part? Forget those things out of my hand, me. Yeah. Oh, these red cats. Yeah. I told my own father. I was so pale, man. Go down and get him. I don't drink vodka, rum, strolls, and millers, and malt liquor. Ooh, oh dear. <laughs> I did not go get it. I better stay with my own father. My brother come to stay with me. Me, y'all know. Uh, if you don't know him, well, you know him. He came to stay with me when he got out of prison. I said, well, listen to me. I'm the youngest of eight children. I said, come stay with me. I said, you older than me. You got big brother. And I love it. I said, this ain't your house. This is my house. We got rooms in here. Ain't gonna be no drinking. Ain't gonna be no smoking. She ain't coming upstairs. She's like, I got a wife and two little girls in this house. A little boy. You might see them here. And I said to a brother of mine, if you ain't here about 11, go find some somewhere else there. You ain't gonna come back. You have to do that. When you got babies in the house. Yeah. You understand know that you got to guard, guard your territory. Right. And when it came, when it, when it, when it came late, right. then I gave him stipulation. Did they have, did they have uh, stipulations in the That's right. Did they have stipulations in the Why are you going to obey him, not me? So I told my own father, I told my own brothers, I helped y'all, I had Tommy out, he stayed with me. Tony, he stayed with me, and Nick stayed with me. But it's my rules and not theirs. Right. You don't come in my house and tell me what to do. <laughs> and when you're going to be done, you ain't paid a light bill, phone bill, water bill, you ain't paid nothing. Shut this nose up. 
Then why am I saying it like that? I was letting them know Joey has changed. Joey has changed, not with my life, with my life. With my life. Now they respect me now. Why? They know who I am. When they need prayer, they know who to call. Let God order your steps. Let God lead you. And I'm telling you right now, no test is designed to beat you. Because uh -uh. if God don't want you to win, you won't win. You, if God does not want you to pass any test, you will not pass it. So it ain't designed to beat you. When Jacob said, let, when the angel told Jacob, let me go. Don't you know that angel the baby let go? But he wanted Jacob to hold on. Why? To change his name. You know why God had to change his name? Two reasons. Number one, he had to get him to acknowledge, what is thy name? Jacob. What does that mean? Tricks to deny. In order to come to God, you got to acknowledge who you are and yeah. what you are. Yeah. You're a sinner. I'm saying. Yeah. Once he said, My name is Jacob, he said, Your name is no more Jacob, yeah. but Israel. As a prince with God, you have to obey. Yeah. See, see, that's why I don't like a bunch of nicknames in church. My name is Michael, not Enjo. Enjo, who I used to be. Michael's my name. Why? Wow. Because Enjo, he was good. Michael was trying to be good. You understand what I'm saying, y'all? So when God saves you, he puts you on the street called straight. No turns. No back out. Stay on the street. You got a lot of people on the sideline. Hey! Try to get your attention. Hey! Don't just keep straight. Hey! Tell me, I ain't got time to talk. Hey, I know them Come, hop, walk. If they was on the, if they meant you to do it, they won't be on the sideline. They'll be on the same straight street you Anything that's on the sideline don't mean you look good. If Jesus put me on the straight street and you are on the corner street trying to call me, you don't mean you look good. Watch these contexts. Watch these contexts. What you doing tonight? What do most people do at 12 o'clock at night? What do they most of them do? Left their work? He's watching TV, said that in the day, right? Uh, I just told my car, now you know. Now you know. Now all of a five minutes, you knock on the door. I just thought, you see if you anything. Man, you know I ain't sold for 30 years. Get away from this door. You take a plan, this happened to me. This happened to me two months back. My wife and I was in the living room. And it's knocking on the door at night time. I said, Why? Don't go to the door. Let me go to the door. She said, Huh? She said, Somebody wife. And I said, I said, Get back with me. You wouldn't go to the door. I went to that door. Hey, so and so and so and so. I waited, man. Wait, stop right there. I said, Hey, he don't live here, man. I looked at dead in his He don't live here. Why are you knocking on my door? He don't live here. I don't know who he wanted. I'm exactly here. My name is Michael. Thank you, Tang. I said, he don't live here. Oh, okay, man. I can take my eyes off one time. Shut that door. I, I, you know what I'm talking about? I don't know you. I said, I don't know you. Why are you knocking on my door? I let him know. You don't think that you're going to give him the door. Give him the door. Give him the door. Because you don't know what they got on. You don't know what they pack on. I'm sitting in the house again. My wife went there. I was talking to my phone. Just to go open up my front door. I woke my daughter walk to the house. I went through that house. When he see me, oh! I ain't never seen nobody get in the car so quick as he did. He knew he was on the wrong territory. You understand know what I'm trying to tell y'all? When you walk with God, the enemy knows when he's off his territory. Right. And then he knows when you're on his. That's right. You understand what I'm saying, y'all? So when God died, I'm telling you something. God didn't lead him to my house again. But his foolishness and stuff. Uh -uh. That was the enemy that won't be to make a wrong move. To say the wrong thing. So he can shoot up the house. See, I have my baby tonight. Uh -uh. Let God lead you. 
Make out the prayer lines open if you need prayer time. I'm going to pray for you. You want my hands for you. Our children go to El Nino. All children go down here. All grown ups come here. I'm going to pray for the elder. This is F's back to town. Hold on. Father, we thank you for this brother. Rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. Baptize him with the gift of the Holy Ghost. My God, and when God brings you in, you, know, you got a singing ministry. You got a singing ministry. And God wants to fill you with the Holy Ghost and you can want you to sing. Oh, my shout out Open up these doors. Move every obstacle out of his way. Move these obstacles. Jesus. Praise him. Father, bless my sister. Fill her with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Be with her and use and lift her up in Jesus' name. Use it. Bless it. Keep his mind 
speak, God, in the name of Yeshua. I pray for your health. In the Bashiya Shiva. In the Bashiya Shiva.
child until now that would try to control her mind. I take authority over all emotions and feelings that the enemy would try to use against her and give her peace. Give her peace, God. Give her peace in her mind. In the name of Yeshua, tell down every stronghold. Tell down every opposition in the name of Yeshua. And I want you to listen to what comes to me to tell you. I am what God says I am. 